We are back on the strip and it feels amazing. So we have just um, checked in at Park MGM and um, it's about 95 degrees today. It's lovely and warm, really, really lovely. We've come out the side entrance because we are hungry and our first stop is going to be um, Tom's Urban at New York, New York. I've missed this place so much. Well, actually, I don't think we could be more content than what we are right now. Um, we're sat in Tom's Urban. Well, I say we're sat in Tom's Urban, we're sat outside Tom's Urban. It's a lovely, lovely warm day. We've got our 40 ounces. Now, the only thing is we asked for our Angry Orchard that we normally get, and she said they don't have any at the moment, so our hearts dropped. But anyway, she gave us a taste of... Um... I actually started to cry a little bit. <laughs> Inside or outside? Oh, it was full on. You know. Was it? Just please add that thing. No one noticed. <laughs> so she said they had a mango ace cider instead and she gave us a little taste of it and it was really nice. So we said, go on then, we'll go for it. So it's outside. We've got our um, cider. It is a gorgeous day. Um, we just, we don't have to be anywhere, we don't have to go anywhere, there's nothing planned at the minute. Um, we kind of know there's a bar tonight we want to go to, but other than that, we've got nothing urgent pressing and we're sat just obviously opposite Brooklyn Bridge. We've got MGM Grand opposite there as well and m and World and it's just really chilled and really nice and we're just happy as anything, aren't we? Michael's nodding for people who can't see. Anyway, we've ordered food, um, so we'll show you that when it comes. And uh, yeah, just really, really happy. Okay, so Michael got the Nashville spicy crispy chicken or something like that, with some loaded tots. And I got the uh, pork belly tacos with garlic fries. And we are really looking forward to uh, to having these. So this here is a New York cheesecake. And I mean, it's pretty big. But I just have to point out that the only reason that I have a New York cheesecake in front of me is because Michael really wanted a New York cheesecake. And because I didn't want dessert, but he knew that as soon as he ordered dessert, I would want to taste this. No, no, he knew that as soon as my, my mind came, you would take it. No, and I would be like, oh, I'll just have a little bit. And then, that's nice, I'll have another little spoonful, if you don't mind. And then soon enough, it's gone. So, I was a bit, um, I don't think I want, there's nothing. And he was like, no, no, I'm, she wants one. She wants a cheesecake. And I said, no, I, I don't think. And he was like, no, she does. And then as soon as the server left, he went to me. I've only bought you a cheesecake to protect my own cheesecake. <laughs> I, I, I regret nothing. I feel I feel fully vindicated. But uh, but now I've got this big cake. Oh, ditto. That I haven't asked for. Anyway, I'm good. I mean, you know, I'm going to try it. 
it would, it would, there would be something wrong. She's literally complaining about having cake, by the way. Yeah, because I'm more of a chocolatey kind of person than a cheesecakey person. And, and that does not look like a cheesecake that I know. It's a New York cheesecake. I know. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm you know, I'm going to... She's going to finish everything. <laughs> there, but that's what she's going to do. <laughs> Let's see. So that should answer the question of what I thought of my uh, cheesecake. But... <clears throat> Obviously, the real question is what's Lynn, how's Lindsay get on with hers? <laughs> well, I had to give it a go. I can tell you exactly how the conversation would have, would have went. Can you yeah. mm -hmm. I can tell you exactly how the, uh, the conversation would have went had she not got it. She would have said to me when mine came. Michael, can I just have a little taste, please? And I would have been like, well, I thought that you don't like it. You said that you don't like it. And she would have said, well, I know, but I just want to remind myself that I don't like it. And then she would have had some, and then she would have been like, oh, that's a lot nicer than I thought it would be. And then suddenly, I'm sharing my bloody cheesecake. <laughs> would you like to contest anything there? We know you have history of not liking to share your desserts. We've seen evidence of it when you've had to fight me off with fault. So we know you're quite selfish. You're a selfish dessert eater, we know this. <laughs> so what you're saying is, rather than share up one mouthful of your dessert, you'd rather spend, God knows how much this is by the way, we don't even know. No. We haven't even looked at a menu. She just said we have cheesecake, I went, like, yes, two, two of them. So we don't actually know how much this is, so you'd rather spend no, this. but what we do know is that Lindsay, Lindsay once nearly took my eye out over a sticky toffee button. That's what we do know. Well, she's is, is sitting there preaching about people who won't share their pudding. I know, but I'm sure that was my sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> anyway, the upshot is that the cheesecake at Tom's Urban which is actually being rebranded, by the way, to Tom's Watch Bar, is spectacular. There you go. So this is a room tour of Park MGM, um, room 330 on the third floor. It's very red when you go in, <laughs> but to be fair, I really like red and white, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, so basically off to your right here, you have the bathroom. And um, it's actually a really nice size. It's much bigger than the, the Mirage one was uh, when we stayed earlier this year. So, there's just the one sink, nice big mirror. Like I say, if you're not a fan of red and white theme, this maybe isn't the room for you, but we have a red and white kitchen at home, so I don't mind the red and white at all. Obviously the toilet, a little kind of utilities unit, and then a um, really nice big shower. It does feel a bit like you're going to be having a shower with like brick walls around you, but it's a uh, it looks nice and big. Okay, so we're going to the main room. This is a queen room, um, so it's got two queen beds. It's quite big, nice and spacious. Off to the right, you have a big mirror, then a nice big TV. There's a unit, a table and chair, big window sofa area, which I really like the idea of actually. Lamp. Now we've got a room uh, facing kind of the back of Park MGM and a low floor. We don't usually like a low floor, but actually I really don't mind this view. It's a really nice view of T-Mobile Arena. The window's big, it's really bright. So I don't mind that at all. Um, we have a lot of strip view rooms, so it's quite nice sometimes when you have a bit of a different view. Um, you can just kind of see around here the roller coaster, New York, New York there. Um, 
but yeah so in terms of the bed like i say we've got a double queen room so they look decent sized some pictures up on the wall i'm just trying to look to see if there's much in the way of kind of um plugs and things like that uh, USB ports. I can't see many at the moment. Uh, certainly not around the bed area. Oh, there's some there. Sorry, they're behind the telephone. So there's a couple of plugs and some USB connectors there. So that's handy. Um, but yeah, actually, first views. Quite happy with it. Obviously, we haven't gone for anything fancy room-wise. It's just the the basic one. Um, but it's really comfortable. We're only here three nights. So I'm happy. So if you were wondering where the um, kind of wardrobe storage space is, it's actually hidden. So obviously this is the bathroom. This is a door, but it's a slidey door. So I'm going to slide this along. There we go. So we've got shelves, iron... Obviously some hangers, the safe, and some storage here. So we are in Park MGM and uh, Michael has a hundred odd dollars free play. So we thought we'd stick it in a buffalo. Now we're not generally buffaloes. We do wild, wild buffalo, but we don't really do this one. In fact, last time we played this one was when we got given a country music awards ticket. So <laughs> it has bad memories for Michael. But anyway, he saw that there was a maxed out major and he said, you know what, let's just do my 100 free play in here and see what happens. So we have um, haven't got much into it. We put our own $20 in and that was it. And then um, we've got the bonus. So let's see what happens. So we're looking for eight of the, ooh, them ones. <laughs> We've just got seven of, we need eight of them. To get the hold and spin anyway. Come on, Buffalo. Oh my God. It's not giving us a thing. <gasps> oh my word, $4.40. This is the theme of the uh, trip so far. Like, yeah, you've seen us have a couple of big bonuses, but generally we're getting so little. And we are getting a bonus, but the, when they come up, they're just tiny. Like, we've had so many that are less than $10 bonuses. And I mean, that's a $2 bet. So, um, yeah, it's been really stingy with us. And yet all you ever see when you hear is loads of videos, isn't it, of other people winning, like, hand pays left, right and centre. But uh, anyway, we will crack on. So now we have the hold and spin feature. It took a while to get us here, man. We're still on the free play. So um, both, we were down to $9 free play. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Ooh, there's a mini for $20. That's nice. Now the minor for 100 would be absolutely lovely. Oh, it's going through as well. I just saw it go through. Come on, Buffalo. Right, nice. Come on, Buffalo. We are due a nice big bonus. Oh, I can see the mine. I keep going through. Nice. Come on. Oh. You start thinking it's done with you, don't you? Ah. It's nice when it's free play because you just feel like it's not your money that you're playing with. So it all feels like a bonus. Michael has a knack with his free play. I get free play and it just goes like in an instant. Michael always seems to turn his free play into a, uh, into a, a, a profit. We got our drinks as well in Park MGM. Actually, really, really nice big drinks. Big and strong. Not blue though. But early in the day for blue and strong. Sixty-six. So that's the 
100 free play and the 20 dollars we put in now 140 so it's 120 up basically aren't so we kind of turned it into, into money yeah basically what happens on the very next spin <laughs> as you can see we were on 140 we're now 138 i know they're really strong so literally the next spin right come on let's see that minor Five at once. Right, okay, this is getting exciting now. So t the full screen wins the grand. The grand is 10,000. We all know the chances of that are very, very slim. Last spin. Ah. Very much so. Is this better than winning the Country Music Awards tickets, my boy? <laughs> if it was only two dollars, would it still be better than winning the couple of years ago? Yeah. I know we're considering we're still in the free play. Right, up to 180 now. Right, I don't know what to tell you. Three spins later and we got the bonus. <laughs> so we are still on $3 free play. <laughs> this nine, this last $9 of free play has um, been pretty incredible, to be honest. Right, let's see. It's got to be better than last time. Last time it was $4. Oh, nice. All right, so we're up to 16 games. Come on, Buffalo, you got to just be... Look, we're already beaten the last time. We're up past five dollars already. Yeah. Come on, Buffalo. Okay, nothing so far. Oh, front wheel there. Come on, retrigger. Yes, another retrigger. This is what Buffalo does, though, isn't it? It re-triggers and dead spins, it's it's little uh, quirk. But let's hope it doesn't here. Another retrigger. Well I hope you're comfy. There's a little multiplier there on the kings. Come on. Let's get another holding spin. We have a there's a lot of cougars at the minute. With all the machines that we're on. Don't say it. We're up to fourteen dollars. Come on, holding spins. Ooh, three short. Yeah. No. Come on, Buffalo. Oh, front wheel. A lot of dead spins, as we said. We all know this from Buffalo. Come on. Oh, three short again. Only six spins left. Nope. It is for a two dollar and 26 games. Oh, a oh, little multiplier there would have been nice. Are you hitting it? Up to $27. Two spins. Oh, that's a nice multiplier. It's the bloody Cougars again. 31. Come on. Oh. Again, we're over 200 on that free play now. Now, what are you going to do with your last $3 free play, Mike? I'm going to do one free. Go on then. Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're three plates after the ball. Right, so um, we're at the Mirage, our old favourite. Um, just sort of we'd pop back in to see it one last time, probably, before everything changes. Um, doing a bit of the Dragon Link, Autumn Moon, uh, just 150 bets of hit a hold and spin, which has got a nice $30 ball there, so. Let's see what else it has for a sec. 
I've got to say, the bonuses today, the betting, it hasn't been good. It hasn't been good. Ooh. It's been one of those where we've been getting plenty of them, but just, um, but just very, very bad wins. Oh, um, we've been getting a lot of a near misses, five balls and five hats. And, um, but I mean, this one's looking okay. This one's looking pretty decent for a 150 bet. Let's see what it's got. Yeah, there was a minor, but... Pretty solid for a 150 bet. So we're still in the Mirage and we thought we'd try one of these machines. Basically, ultimate violent explosion and it is like floor to ceiling. Um, it's quite interesting, we've seen someone play it because these monkeys here throw down fireballs randomly. And they can unlock rows and everything as well. So anyway, this is how big it is. So the actual bonus when it comes with the progressives is like the full length of the whole screen. So whether we'll actually film that or not, I don't know. But the other thing I wanted to point out is we've just gotten some vodka Red Bulls because um, I'm a bit tired. So we thought we'd get them. And literally she brought along the glass and it was filled uh, almost to the top of the vodka. And then she gave us the the can of Red Bull so there's no space in the glass to actually pour the Red Bull in I've poured a tiny bit in it's just basically pure vodka so um, <laughs> I don't know I, I don't know what this might lead to but um, anyway we'll keep you around so you can see Michael's got the same we can barely get any Red Bull in the glass right so basically we got the four balls two of them landed and two of them were thrown down by the big monkey at the top with his big ball. So we got, um, we're only low rolling uh, 75 cents. We just kind of wanted to suss out the game and see what was happening. Um, do you want to do it, Michael? So again, there's balls being thrown down from the monkeys at the top. Oh, I want to try and get him, um, see, watch him throwing them. Hang on two seconds. Oh, now he's not going to do it. <laughs> All of the ones are landing at the top anyway. They're they're hang on, oh, I got him there. He's thrown them down. Nice. Oh, okay, come on. No, it's too sad. Yeah. Come on, monkeys. Do the monkeys do wordy balls, do you think? Let's see. Oh, he's thrown them again. I'm, I don't know what to film because I want I want to catch the monkeys. Oh, he stopped throwing them. Yeah, last spin. I think the monkey knew it was the last spin. He was like, "Yeah, I'm not throwing any more down now." Yeah, it's only 75 cent as well. So we're just laughing because um, normally, obviously, you know, whether you're doing Dragon Link or whatever you're doing, Lightning Link, and you need balls, you're usually shouting in the machine, like, balls, come on, balls, or whatever else. We've just realized that because the monkeys only throw balls down on some screens and not others, like, sometimes the monkeys do their job, but the machine doesn't do theirs. So now we've, like, got someone to blame. <laughs> so with this, the monkeys didn't throw any balls down. That, them two just came from the machine, so now we're like, Monkeys! <laughs> like Michael's getting really irate at the monkeys. Now that the monkeys are doing nothing wrong. All of a sudden, because we're not getting the four balls, it's all their fault. It's all and we've got, all their fault. <laughs> we've got someone to blame. This poor guy is doing his best. Every so often, he's just throwing one or two balls down, you know. But uh, yeah, poor guy's getting shouted at he now. He needs to pick his moments better. He does. Yeah. He does. Right, come on, monkeys. You have to improve your game, okay? I have been looking for a new 
an, a nemesis since my uh, a panda battle right. came to an end. Maybe it's monkeys. But they can't be a nemesis, they help me with the balls. Didn't help me with them balls. Well, no. But it, to be fair, he just threw two down the screen before and the machine did nothing to help him. He's got to pick his balls. <laughs> At this point, the monkeys have just stopped throwing balls at all. I might, I might have shouted at them too much. Come on, monkeys. I still like it. You see, you see now, a couple of relevant balls from the monkeys there. And that would have been fine, but no, no, he's just lying back. You know. Relaxing. You scared them off. They, they, they haven't thrown any balls since I shouted at them. And Lindsay's taking their side a little bit. She's, uh, I feel sorry for them, you know, they're, they're doing a job here. Yeah, but I never took the parrot side over hers, ever. They literally haven't thrown balls for yeah. like about 10, 12 well, ever since, Ever since I shouted at them and blamed them. Oh, monkeys, man. Come on, come on. Monkeys! Ah, monkeys, man! It's no good sitting up there in your tree, man. Oh, now you're gonna chuck it down. Fat bloody use now. <laughs> you. You know what? I'm glad that you get rage just as much as I do. Oh, monkeys, monkeys, monkeys! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pick the fucking moments, don't they? That would have been the perfect time. That would have been the ideal time. For the, the monkeys, monkeys to help to us out. The balls. We could throw in the runners now, there, man, you plants. <laughs> and I'm not being funny, but between them, they've got five balls. They could make this bonus happen any time they wanted. So we're here in the Mirage and as you know we're here with uh, Darren and Sally from the Las Vegas couple and look who's shown up. We've got Danny, biggest introvert as well and what we thought we'd do is, um, as you've heard apparently Michael is the most hookable man on YouTube apparently, look how excited Danny is. So we are going to document the hug um, for all to see and be witnessed by the Las Vegas couple as well. Right, are we, are, do we do like three, two, one, go? Yeah, 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 okay. Right, three, two, one. There we go. Oh, there Yay! Go. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Danny, can you confirm? Is he the most hookable man? I'll be getting more. Right, so we're still at um, the Mirage. We've just met Sticky, so, you know, you're just over there, if you're watching, with um, the Vegas couple, still. And uh, we just put a little bit of money in this um, a Tiki Fire. And the very first spin, a Holden spin dropped with a $50 mini. So, um, let's see what it has in store for us, eh? Come on. Come on the balls. This, so this is a, um, a five cent a denom. So they're all kind of times five. There's another mini going through there as well. Come on. I'd, I'd, I'd like the kind of the 250 minor if we could. Oh, ah. come on. Is it finished with us? Keep us in, keep us in. Well, oh. you know what, for a kind of one spin like bonus. You can't really go wrong, can you? It's funny because um, we played this at a um, um, plaza as part of our little a plaza game there. And the very first spin, we won there too. And the very last spin. So that was a, you know, a 71 a 25 off a, a 1 a 25 bet. First spin, basically, I doubled our money on one spin. That'll do us. Nice. Maybe the luck's just starting to turn a little bit. Hope so. 
Right, it's a kind of four spins later or something. Um, we had this kind of long talk, should we kind of play on or, or just move on? But we thought we we're going to do it again and about four spins later, the, the free games feature landed. So let's see if it's still feeling kind. I'll see you on balls and wilds here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I thought that would be nicer than that. Yeah. <laughs> With a multiplier. Come on, balls. Come on, balls. Oh, balls. Oh, they went through. You want really wilds from this, I think. The full screen of them would be lovely. Oh, oh that went through as well. Free trigger. The free trigger. That was probably needed. So yeah, so uh, Tiki Tiki Fire being pretty kind to us at the minute. Come on. These are four spins. These guys winning again. Yeah. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Go on, that's what we want. Nice. That's what we want. Like so I would always say wilds on this rather than balls. That's a nice win. Oh, oh didn't line up. Two games left. Come on, take the fire. It's about, what, a 50 bonus at the minute? Should be some 10s there, but, but there wasn't. Let's see. 194 yeah. from our AD in. Yeah, excellent. So we've just left the Mirage. It's around, I don't know, 1 a.m. Quarter one, um, and I've had far too many Red Bulls, so I'm not ready to go to bed yet. I think she's uh, <laughs> going to actually jog home, you know, with the Red Bulls. Fly home. Red Bull gives you wings. Um, anyway, so we we actually just thought we haven't really vlogged the strip yet. So while we were walking along, we thought, you know what, let's just do a quick look around. We've had a lovely night. We met um, Darren and Sally and Danny from Vegas Introvert as well. And uh, oh, we've missed all of these sights. We um, we always say on these vlogs that we never do Caesars. It's just never somewhere we consider even going. Um, even though it looks amazing, we we just don't do it. I don't know why. So we are on a mission. We are actually going to go to Caesars now, um, have a look at the new kind of foyer and, and whatever else, and do a little bit of gambling. See how we get on. So we're in Caesars. We can't decide whether Omni has just opened the door or whether it's just kicking out <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning. But anyway, it's jumping. Uh, and this is the sports book. You can't help but be impressed by this every time. I think it's just the shape of it and the bar in front of it. It just looks really, really good. We actually feel like um, Caesars has changed a lot since last time we were here. The poker room looks busy, but I'll whiz past that. Um, we think it's a lot lighter than normal. Certainly the main area when you first come in was really bright and we, we're used to seeing it really dark. But anyway, we're gonna find something to play. We're in Caesars, we're playing, uh, I always forget the order this is, ha Cats, Hats and More Bats, look at Link it is. And uh, yeah, we're paying uh, 250 a spin and we've got the bonus. So this is where the bats come on and they splat against the glass and they look fab. But you have to get them linking. They have to be basically neighbour bats for them to join on. So there, <laughs> there he is. 
and then every time you do it um, increases the rest of the bats. Nice. It's basically the same as the other locket links, just with funnier symbols. Oh, he won't link yet. We need something in the middle there to join it. That one will. Come on, the bats. Yes. Nice. Come on, bats. Oh, yeah. We need someone to join him. Ooh. This is looking really good now. We just need a little friend for the one in the corner. Come on, get him a friend. Oh, feels like it's done. Come on. Oh, it's nice. Right, we still need a little friend, any of the other two, to be filled and then he can join in in the corner. He's a bit of a loner out there by himself. So. times five as well. Yeah, five cent in all. It's a good amount. Yes! Now this is the one where if you fill the full screen it's not a grand, is it? I think it doubles it. I'd like to find out. Yeah, that would be really nice to find out. Come on. Last chance. Ah. Hey, you know what? Can't complain at that. It's a great screen. That's a nice win. Yay! That may be our biggest single win so far. On one bonus. This trip, anyway. Oh, that's nice to see the bats. We did play this earlier in the day and we put a hundred through and we just literally got nothing. We kept getting two bats on one line and then one on another, didn't we? We kept missing it, so we wanted to kind of give it another go. Are you hitting it? We've just come off um, bats, hats and cats or whatever the hell that is. And uh, we've moved on to a dollar storm. Now we did get the super grand chance thing pop up before but unfortunately it didn't hit with anything else so but we are excited that it's in there anyway uh, but we have got the uh, the Holden spin. I think there's about 40 there. There's a mini there, it's $20. Oh that's nice. Come on. A miner's $100 so that would be nice too. I think it's a pretty good one now, either way. Could be better. A super though. grand chance would be nice though, wouldn't it? Come on. Ah. Maybe around 50 ish. That's a, that's a decent little hit. Oh, no. A two dollar bag. Yeah. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Hey, considering we never come and see us, that's two machines and two wins, two holding spins. Can't complain. Very nice. So our look in Caesars continues. We thought we'd give it a uh, kitty, Miss Kitty, a little goal, Miss Kitty Gold. And uh, we haven't had the bonus yet, but this happened. So basically, we originally got four Miss Kitties on wheels two, three, four, and five. So it did a respin, and then random other kitties kept popping up, and I couldn't get the phone out quick enough, to be honest. But then the front wheel uh, filled up with the best symbol, which is the fish. And all of these fish as well. Yeah, all the extra fish as well. So we're on a two cent norm, so the middle bit is times two, basically. So uh, yeah, 50 plus at the minute. It's a nice screen, that. So we're up to about 70.
That is a nice line hit. For what, about 75? 80. 80, nice. So, we were just having a conversation about um, we're going to cash out at um, 300 basically and so we only had two spins left and we got the moons so come on kitty oh, lots of wilds very early yes early wilds because then they stick like none of that nonsense yep. well there's one sticky wild in the middle so we want a lot more of them and ones that land on top because then they give you multiples now that's nice Getting somewhere now. So then the wind should start coming, but we can get more and more wilds. Six games left. Come on, Kitty. Oh. Not the best symbols, but come on. The earlier you get the wilds, the more wins. Oh. This might be all we're getting. Come on, four left. There's another one. So I mean every 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 spin hitter. will be a winner. Yeah. Three spins, come on, more wilds. More kitties, please. It's very slow, this game, it isn't is. it? In between spins. Yeah. Oh, that's another one. So that's a doubler on the second reel. Oh, the music's got faster. Right, come on. Last two spins. Loads and loads of wilds. If it ever wants to start. You don't mind waiting in between if it's counting up loads of money for you. <laughs> but when it's just sitting there. <laughs> so we're up to about a $42 win so far. Come on, Kitty, last, last spin. spin. It's all of these that it's kind of counting through. That's why it's yeah, all right. Come on, it's about two o'clock in the morning. There's the cats on nocturnal. Ah, oh, you're right. Should have known that. How silly of me. Even pink ones. I don't know any pink ones. <laughs> the pink yeah. ones, though. Come on, Kitty, you're making us wave. Ah, uh, two more wilds. It's going to be over 50 anyway. Yeah, it's over 60. About 62. 62, nice. Can't really um, grumble about the amount of wins we've had since we've come in Caesars, considering it's somewhere we never come. You start quite liking the place, don't you, when you start winning in it? <laughs> so, after a very good gamble at Caesars, we, we, we kind of realised that we had no food at all since uh, Tom's Urban. It's probably a good gauge of how good a, a day you're kind of having in Vegas when it gets to like half one in the morning and you realise you haven't actually eaten. It's so, quarter past two. <laughs> we're in park, we we found a Huff and Puff, it's not Huff and More Puff, but we have a, a, a hat pop like bonus and we'll just see. We'll see if it's feeling generous. We've got quite a lot of hats to start off with. Mm, we've got eight I believe. Come on then, let's go. Strong houses and re triggers. Come on. Yes, yeah, that'll do. Some more uh, three wood ones. We want gold ones, gold bricks. More hats, please. Yeah. Hat. Yes. That's two gold brick houses. 
It's about well, it's a, a, a two cent a denom, 150 bet. Another re trigger would be very nice. It's another stick house. It's another stick house. One last free game. Yes, re trigger. Re trigger, that was timely. Well, it's still time for a one more gold house. Yes. Trigger again. Yeah. And another gold. So this could be quite 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 decent now. And another gold, it's another gold one. Right. Right, Mr. Wolf. What have you got for us? Four mansions. Quite a lot of stick houses. Remember everything is times two. Very low numbers, but you expect that from yeah. the straws. That's fairly decent actually. Okay. That, that's really decent. Right, come on, we'd love a coin. Two coins, two mini. Two minis, that's, that's all 40. <laughs> and a 30 and a 15. Ooh, so that's what, 125? Yeah. Which, you know, on a, a 150 bet is pretty spectacular. You know what, we've been talking about how our look we haven't had much luck, and we haven't. We've been getting a lot of bonuses with small ones and just ticking along. We certainly haven't made any money, we've just been kind of. And then uh, just tonight, it seems to have the looks changed a bit, and it's just nice to have a one winning night. I think changes everything, doesn't it? You just feel a bit more positive and everything. So, yeah, fab night, fab day, actually, yeah. really good day. That's, um, yeah, that's. Pretty decent, really. So I think I'll, we might be going to get more food now. Yeah, I think we need some. If ever you are in Park MGM or close by and you need some late night food, this is the Side Betty Grill and it is open 24 hours. We didn't know, um, but thank goodness it's here because <laughs> we are starving at half two in the morning. Um, so yeah, we've, got to go, we've ordered some food and we're going to take it up to the room. But yeah, that's what you, this is where you can come for your late night snacks. Now this is what you call good early morning, late night snacking. Um, grilled chicken sandwich, double cheeseburger, waffle fries, and we ordered a portion of onion rings, but <laughs> we've got enough to feed the whole floor, I think. Um, but yeah, oh, we need this. Looking forward to it.